Hello, I'm Safira Lou and welcome to my channel. Hello guys and welcome to this week's video. Uh, this week's video I'm going to touch on character designs and character sheets uh, specifically because I am currently working on my comic Marine Prickles and I had to make some character sheets um, for myself and I thought it'd be interesting uh, as a topic to talk about. For those who don't know, I am currently working on a small comic series called uh, Plant Witch, which follows the adventures of Marie and Prickles as she uh, learns about her plant magic and tries to bring plants back into the world in which there isn't much uh, vegetation and plant life. So for me, when I do character sheets, uh, what's important to me is a very quick turnaround, a colour selection to show what colours I've used for the characters, and a quick like quick notes on what I want the character um, to be, what their personality is like, X, Y, and Z. Now the reason why um, this is so important for me, as particular when it comes to character design, is because I want to show um, myself, uh, particularly when I'm drawing the same thing over and over again, um, what to remember to look out for for specific things. Now, a lot of people will say, well, why are you drawing a character design sheet if you already know the characters off by heart? Now, even when your drawings are the same thing over and over again, particularly when it comes to costume design, you will forget like little pieces like, oh, the bow will be slightly out of place, you know, or like um, you've not put that ribbon in the same place you put it last time. And especially when it comes to comics and especially when it comes to doing animation as well, this is really important to do character sheets. So these are sort of like my tips if you want to do comic books or if you are looking into being a character designer and or a character designer for animation, illustration, uh, for storybooks or for comics. Um, so my first step interest uh, steps would be make sure you've got your character to turn around, make sure you've got your colour palette wide down and as many notes um, as possible so that you can look back and remember certain things. Um, so you can see I did a very quick turnaround of prickles and close up shots of this will be available up on my Instagram um, because I know a few people have wanted to know more about prickles and know a bit more about his character design. Uh, with prickles it's very simple simple he's a cactus inspired cat he's don't have really any placement for spines but his eyes are bright and shiny in the middle of his forehead and he has this big beautiful flower on the back whereas Marie is much more extensive um, to remember um, with her character her shape her everything uh, like her body body, uh, what the certain types of clothes we wear, what colour schemes, um, her design is much has much more to it so it will be a lot more notes on her character sheets than there would be on Prickles. Uh, Prickles only has one character sheet whereas Marie has two and I believe I will be doing more for myself. And the reason why I do this is um, it makes it so much easier when I'm doing comics to remember certain things. And if anyone was to do, uh, wanted to do fan art, which I have received quite a bit of fan art of, the, uh, of amazing people who have done Prickles and have done Marie and people have done Wusher Hunters. And that's so inspiring to me. And people do ask for character sheets because they want to get the character more accurate. By doing character sheets, not only are you remembering yourself um, what certain attributes, what certain colour schemes you are looking for to your character. Um, it helps you to look back and to remember. One of the things I was realising as I was doing my comics, um, comic pages, is that I kept on forgetting what particular colours I was using. So by me doing these sheets and by me writing down specifically what colours I was using, it's really going to help me in the long run. And you can see as I'm doing these character sheets, I'm making notes. And the reason why I'm making notes is because it's important for myself to, from, from what's from my brain, to put it down on paper. Um, just because it helps in the long run. I, I, I think I'm making sense. <laughs> 
Marie's character design it uses a lot of earth tones so when I'm thinking of her character I'm thinking of okay I can't use too much green and um, if I'm going to use brown tones I have to make sure they're very different from her skin tone um, because using too much brown when I have a darker skin tone anyway will uh, clash too much with her uh, skin tone so I have to be strategic, uh, strategic when I'm placing my colours and you can see I'm basically making notes about her outfit, uh, her main outfit and what to um, make certain notes of and like for example her over skirt that goes over the top is actually an apron which she can unpin at the sides and like little things like a hat has a belt at the front but all around the back has flowers and this really does help when you are doing comics because it helps you keep your consistency and I think that it's really important to do that with character sheets um, my personal thing is I don't think that character sheets have to be very very neat as long as you've got the basis of your character down and your character height down and um, all the important parts of your character I don't think in particular that they need to be massively neat however I do understand that people would prefer them to be neat because they prefer to get them as accurate as possible whereas me this is a quick reference sheet it's not there to be perfect it's there to look at and it's there for me to and remember my notes as I'm going along essentially uh, I really would like to do more uh, videos like this where I'm explaining my comics process and how I work on comic books and what my thought process is when it comes to behind comic books and if you guys are interested in that please let me know down below um, I'm a big advocate when it comes to comics and I'm re I get really excited about it and I just would like to kind of pass on kind of what I've learned a little bit or if you guys want to hear more about my learning progress or what I have learned as I'm doing you know comics and comic design I would love to just go ahead with it uh, this so I'm just going to show you uh, my finalised uh, character sheets and as you can see um, I've made plenty of notes and I've also shown like my colours and I've also shown like different poses with, um, with prickles and with Marie it's more about the earth tones and me making notes of what colour scheme she is, making sure that her hair is consistent when tied up and down and making notes of why particular things are particular ways. And like I said, this is important for me just because then I can look back on these notes and remember them as I'm going through my comics. So I have a little sneak peek uh, coming up for you um, of the actual comic pages I'm working on. Um, I thought it'd be fun to show you what I've actually been working on at the moment. So in this sketchbook are some of the comic pages that I have been working on and I've really been wanting to share with you like my progress on this and I thought it'd be fun to do a video in the future of me actually showing comic pages. I do actually do stream these if you are interested on my Instagram um, but here is a few sneak peeks of like the comic, pa comic pages that I am currently working on. Uh, these comics are all traditionally done and they will be once I've done a few pages a few more pages in them about I will feel much more comfortable but these are almost like a work in progress and they're not quite finished yet but you can see I have been working on these and I'm really really excited to share the progress with you I hope you guys have enjoyed my thoughts on this video if you wish to see more content from me maybe subscribe to my channel leave a comment on down below whether or not you've done character sheets and what you like to do when prepping for comics if you wish to see more like this let me know in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching but as always Stay creative.